it is that time of month once again, guys. Is it worth farming an event? Today's or this month's event. The full scale French event, SSR event, what we got here. Let us find out. So as usual, we'll start off with the end game players first. Is this event worth farming for? Now, when you guys think French event, it's going to be baguette guns. One way or another, there's always going to be a baguette gun. And this event is no different. We can farm baguette guns here, and it's going to be in one. So D1 has this uh, French event's uh, baguette drop on this map right here. False Gods Cocoon, where you're going to find it. So that's actually a nice pickup. Assuming you guys don't have a decent amount of baguette guns already, keep in mind that we have a billion, uh, billion ver uh, up side upgrades of 35 firepower ED guns available as of right now. So the time of where French baguette gun was like absolute best in slot is not nearly as much nowadays compared to back then. But hey, again, it is a 35 firepower gun. And if you guys use uh, USS DDs or uh, or USS BBs. So like New Jersey stuff like that and having these guns is very very good It's also really good on destroyers well too that uses primarily firepower as their damage output. So You guys need any of those things Lock up here. It's a very very good map for that now D2 also has a very nice gun as well too Same as the last event. We have the heavy cruiser HG gun one of the better HG guns available for heavy cruiser but keep in mind that Heavy cruiser guns are kind of whatever. Um, there's like more or less a lot of side grades from heavy cruiser guns, specifically AP. So it is what it is. If you guys want to farm a couple H, uh, heavy cruiser HE guns, then stop by here. Very, very nice pickup. Now, D3 is going to be a little different this time around. It does hold the drop ship, which is going to be Pain Leve, whatever you want to pronounce her name. I'm just going to call her Pain Leve. Um, he's available in D3. But the gear here is not that great. We have the John Bart gun, the French BB uh, SSR gun, whatever you want to call it, it's here. It's not that great. It's very inaccurate. It has okay damage, but for the most part, though, the MK6, the purple version, covers everything you need to do for HE damage for battleships. So I highly uh, advise going against it. Uh, best way to go about doing this map is, or this event is that if you guys really want to focus on farming the baguette guns, which is going to be D1, skip D3, and you can probably skip SP as well too if you farm a lot. You don't need those maps. Just buy the dropship, which is going to be Pain Leve. It's 8,000 uh, tokens. It's going to be a lot, but if you guys are farming this event a lot, D1 is a good map for, for doing that. And you can nab yourself a lot of French baguette guns. All right, so very, very good stop here. As for mid-game players, same thing uh, this time around. I'm um, looking at the other gears real quick. Nothing really great here. D1 is where you're going to be stopping at. Very, very easy map to farm. Again, if you guys don't know, D1 is a roughly about uh, early to mid-level 90 ships for enemies. So if you have low 100s, 105, very, very easy map farming. Very, very easy. No, no difficulties whatsoever. Just go in, slap the enemies, slap the bosses, and just get your drops. And very, very easy that part. So... Same thing as uh, end game players, baguette guns are good pickup. And if you want the heavy cruiser gun as well too, you grab those as well. And just skip D3 and you want to skip SP as well too, farming a lot. Otherwise, if you guys want to be oil efficient, I unlock SP first and then farm D1 as your uh, baguette gun sources or whatever. Also keep in mind that we can build these in gear labs, but again, building them in gear labs, using resources, it's not that great also. Get the prints and stuff to get them as well too so if you guys are relatively new which are talking about new game players probably not gonna have much resources so you might as well farm here all right now as for early game players i don't think this map has anything great i can go ahead and double check real quick but for the most part though the early maps which is like a and b doesn't hold like any any good drops uh just giving a double check real quick um sp sp i haven't updated yet <laughs> Oh, well, it's not that big of a um, I don't think there's anything crazy to be dropped here. Could be wrong, though, but... Uh, alas, if you guys can, farm B3 for the ship drop. Save yourself 8,000 points. And at least try to get to D1. I know it's a bit of a stretch asking a lot of new players to get to D1. Uh, but if you guys have a lot of EXP packs saved up or whatever, you should be in an okay spot. 
uh, but I advise trying to get the D1. D1 isn't too difficult compared to D3. Um, so, like, a fraction of the difficulty. So if you guys can get the D1, though, highly advise it. Otherwise, if you guys can't, just sit at the uh, B3, grind up the pain levees, uh, duplicates, and stuff like that, and you guys should be all right. Now, when it comes to shot priorities, this is going to be different for each player. So this time around, we have a new gun. It's going to be a light cruiser gun. Now, I'm going to make a specific, uh, a different video for this gun in particular. But for the most part, though, it is a very, very solid gun. Um, right here. Solid light cruiser gun. Probably the best non-UR uh, gun available in the game as of right now. Highly advise picking this up. Especially if you guys don't have any um, UR guns and you guys have a Plymouth available as of right now. You guys don't want to like plus 13 a Plymouth gun for whatever reason. It's a very, very good pickup. Highly recommend if you guys can grab this gun. It's only 2,000 points. Nothing, not that expensive. Grab it. Go. And you should be all right. Now, uh, just like any other event, because we are on a new PR season, I advise getting the General Prince and the Special Prince for PR because they are for PR6 and it's a new season. Highly advise, uh, highly advise getting those. And then the usual stuff, cap boxes, SSR if you need them, augment stuff if you need them, usual coins, oil, and plates as well too, and so forth. And if you guys are farming D1 a lot, you guys don't have time to farm for the ship drop in uh, uh, B3, get pain levee, 8,000 points, pretty steep, but hey, if you are farming the, uh, the events, you don't have a lot of points for D1 or whatever, so... Now, as for milestone rewards, I think this time around they just like change things up a lot. So, over here, go to milestone rewards. We hit check rewards. Go all the way down. Fifty-five thousand points is where I recommend. And whenever you guys see gold plates, I always, always recommend going for gold plates because they are very good reason. Now, if you guys don't want to farm too much, you want baguette guns, you want the heavy cruiser guns or whatever. Uh, what you guys can do is get up until i say about 27.5 maybe just so you get the uh ssr prints cog chips are nice too uh 30 000 is a lot for cog chips but some of you guys don't play enough to use up cog chips so probably 27.5k is all right but again if you guys want the maximum rewards right here i highly recommend it's going 55k get all the gold plates available because that's going to be your most wanted resource going into absolute end game all right, so let's do that. Yeah, that's pretty much the run through for this event. A lot of clicking, a lot of dialogue, a lot of skipping as well too. Uh, all right, event for gear, not too terrible. Some couple neat stuff to farm. Is this gonna be one of those uh, maps where it's not gonna be D three this time around? It's gonna be one or D two, depending on your priorities. And then grab the light cruiser gun from the shop, and then gold plates from the milestone wars, and you should be all right. Thank you guys for watching as always. Stay tuned to the next video and I will see you guys in the next one as always.